Well, if you were watching Star News TV on Tuesday, March the 21st, you saw Charles Rourke as he challenged a woman who was handing out flyers at a busy intersection near the Walmart in Henry County, and it eventually ended up with a man showing up and knocking the camera out of Charles's hand before they both got into a vehicle and then left from the area. In addition to being against the law for people to interact with drivers of motor vehicles on public roads in Henry County, it appears the same group in Tuesday's encounter, they've been banned for the same activity in the state of South Carolina. Not only that, but the Henry County Sheriff's Office is investigating the situation where the man knocked the camera out of Charles Rourke's hand before it hit the ground. Now, if you saw the video of the encounter, which aired on our Star News TV stations and is still available on Facebook, a woman is handing out leaflets to passing vehicles near Walmart and the shopping center on Commonwealth Boulevard. Charles Work of Star News TV confronts the woman greeting passing motorists and handing out flyers for the Miracle House of Hope, which is based out of Charlotte, North Carolina. And the woman goes into a spill about how the program supposedly helps people who were in need. When Rourke asked her if she knew that Henry County had an ordinance where the people couldn't do that kind of activity, she replied that they go across Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, and Georgia, saying that they pick up lost souls. Well, the woman continues by handing out a few leaflets before she approaches a man wearing a blue hat, a blue shirt, and blue jeans who is standing in the shopping center parking lot. When Rourke introduced himself to the man, the man asked if he gave him permission to do anything, and then he knocked the camera out of Charles Rourke's hand. Since that time, Charles Rourke spoke to the Martinsville Bulletin, and he talked with the Henry County Sheriff's Office about the camera incident. He said a lieutenant was helpful and encouraging and said if the man can be identified, they will press charges. Now, Chapter 12, Article 6 of the Henry County Code of Ordinances states that it's illegal to interact with occupants of motor vehicles on public roads and medians for the distribution of handbills, leaflets, bulletins, literature, and the solicitation of contributions or the sale of merchandise and services. The Martinsville Bulletin is is reporting that the Miracle House of Hope Ministries has been banned from South Carolina since 2019. Various media outlets have reported the group has been panhandling in several South Carolina cities over the past two weeks. A February 2022 notice from the state of South Carolina states the Miracle House of Hope Ministries is a North Carolina-based organization that purports to help homeless drug addicts. In the notice, South Carolina Secretary of State Mark Hammond said despite being banned from soliciting in South Carolina, Miracle House of Hope Ministries continues to send solicitors into their state, quote, to exploit our generosity, unquote. Now, it said the organization was banned from soliciting contributions in South Carolina in March of 2019. They failed to register as a charity and file annual financial reports as required under the Solicitation of Charitable Funds Act. The notice states in November of 2019, the Administrative Law Court held Miracle House of Ministries in contempt of court for repeatedly violating the injunction and issued a bench warrant for the arrest of its chief executive officer. Sir Bruce Little. The notice goes on to say that the organization owes $12,000 in civil fines to the Secretary of State's office, and because the organization refuses to file financial reports, it's unknown where the cash donations go or how they're being used. Now, there's a lot more to this very informative story by the Martinsville Bulletin. You can read more about it by picking up a paper copy of the Martinsville Bulletin, or you can go to their website, martinsvillebulletin.com. If you would like to see the video of that encounter, you can see it by going to our Facebook page at facebook.com slash starnewstv.